what's up you guys welcome back to another video so all you see me doing now is just priming as you can tell by the title of the video this is a um, recreation I saw this look on Instagram and I fell in love so now you see me just trying to recreate it all right you guys this is nothing new so all I'm doing is just priming my eyelids making sure that I am creating a smooth base for the eyeshadows to apply to then I'm going in with this orange beige shade and I'm making sure that I put that in my crease and this is going to serve as my transition color. Applying this orange shade to my crease, I wanted this look to be warm. I didn't want it to look too cool. I wanted the blings to stand out. So I felt like this would really complement it. And I'm going a little bit below that transition shade, but notice how I am still kind of going on top of it. It's not really meant to stand out. It's just to help me transition into the color I'm putting on. Then I'm going to be putting on this very rich um, brown. It's kind of close to Americano from Makeup Geek. I'm putting that in my outer V, kind of dragging and sweeping it into the crease. And I just want to make sure that I do a really defined look. Next, all I'm going to be doing is just carving out my cut crease. And this is just you know preference you can do it however you want to you can open up your lids there are plenty of techniques on how to do this if you want a video on that just leave me a comment below so that i know um, what you guys want to see don't forget to give this video a likes up for me and yeah all i'm going to do is just fill that in and then place like a beige shade on top of that i want it to look really really natural so i didn't go all out with the color and there you go you can see it's like a pale i mixed a pale peach with a beige that way i can create like a custom shade that would really flow with my skin so you know just play around with makeup to figure out what shade would look best on you as you can see the two different shades i was putting on it came out really really nice i liked the, the combo i made I'm going back in with that um, orange shade with the taper brush, making sure I clean up my lines. I don't want it to define like she did in hers, but I did want it to be a little defined. Um, I'm going to line my eyes with this white liner like she did in hers. And then we're going to be ready to put the jewels on. Be ready to be. So this is where I started to put on the jewels. I really don't have a great clip of this. Um, it was a little bit hard, so that's why I only filmed this side because your girl was struggling on the other side. So all I'm doing is just picking them up with my tweezer and I started out really small in the front and then I did um, bigger crystals on the outside. Um, it's not really much I have to say about this. Just watch your hand and just make sure you're really focusing on how big you're doing your liner. Um, lashes were so hard to put on. I wanted to show you guys I struggled a little bit. I had to use my tweezers to get the lashes really, really low and my eyes like low-key wouldn't open like i'm having a hard like having a very hard time opening my eyes but i'm just going to be applying some foundation i really don't show you guys this um part of my routine anymore so you can just really watch it's self-explanatory and yeah i'll come back in once i'm done with my face <laughs> When I'm 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 when I'm
So all I'm doing for the bottom is applying this green eyeshadow from the Jaclyn Hill palette. Yes, you heard that right. A view, a review. I'm sorry, guys. A review on that is coming very, very soon. I'm so excited. I couldn't, I could not use the eyeshadow when it first got here, but I really liked it. Um, I probably would have chose something a little bit different for this look, but overall, it was okay. I wasn't really mad at it, but I feel like I should have left it alone. Um, I'm applying Max Raisin to my cheeks. You can see my skin is breaking out a little bit. So um, I had to give my skin a little break. Um, this highlighter was a bomb and the lip combo was something serious. I did like a pale, pale pink. And you all know how I feel about my nudes, but I wanted to take a little more pale. And that's exactly what I did. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to thumb this video up. Don't forget to subscribe and please don't forget to share with your friends. I love you guys and I'll see you all next time.